Ho, 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 ho. Hmm, what's on the agenda for today? Oh, hey guys, it's Doug. How are you doing? I have a lot to tell you about, including that thing in the title, which you've probably seen. Come on to that in a minute. But first of all, I know what you're thinking. It's on all of our minds. You're looking at it and you're like, what the hell's going on, Doug? Where is the lampshade? <laughs> I know, there is no lampshade. It's just like some ugly light bulb. There will be a new lampshade soon, I promise you. Got a lot of damp in this flat and damp plus stuff equals mold apparently molds growing everywhere even my shoes grew mold on them I, I did not know shoes could grow mold very annoying i like that pair of shoes but yes there is no lampshade don't freak out why am i talking about lampshades also sorry if i sound a little bit deeper and lower than usual i've got a bit of a cold right now really annoying it always seems to happen at christmas why is that i wanted to film a cover song today but my voice was just like Hello from the other side. I'm not singing that song. Why did I sing that? I don't know. So that will have to wait a few days, I guess. Also, just like a quick hello to like all the new followers and stuff. My channel is growing so much. You guys just keep supporting me and you keep growing kind of on the way to 200,000. It's not that far away. I see it. I see it in the horizon. It's like right over there. Just don't, can you see it? I see it. Um, no, it's not over there. But yeah, it's still really freaky. Imagine 200,000 people. And also my Twitter followers have been growing. If you are sort of new to following me on Twitter, or if you are just in fact on Twitter at all, tweet me now the word fruity. Yes, we're going with fruity. Tweet me the word fruity so that I know if you've seen this bit of the video, of this single video that's on my channel, then I will know and we'll have this like connection. Stop what you're doing and go tweet me the word fruity. Even if this video is like a year old, Someone out there will send me the word fruity. Wow, what have I done? Okay, the serious stuff, stuff, things. Elliot and I have broken up. I thought I should let you guys know as he's been in quite a few of my videos. It happened a week and a half ago, so I'm feeling like a lot better now. We were kind of headed towards being friends anyway, even without realizing it. So although like that actual like end point is a bit scary and a bit of a shock once you're sort of over that we realize like it's it was for the best and we are going to be friends because you know we've shared like a year and a half of our lives together and he has been my best friend throughout that it's completely wrong to think that you've wasted a portion of your life we haven't because you know we've had an amazing almost two years together and i look back on that and think think of all the amazing incredible memories we've had and shared together we've both sort of grown as people taught each other things learned from each other and it's just been a nice part of my life that I'll never forget and that means a lot to me even though it won't continue for the rest of my life as it just wasn't meant to be so I'm single and ready to mingle if you know anyone no just kidding what this is not what this channel is for even though YouTube actually started as a dating site back to where it all began 10 years ago no but yeah it's all good I am obviously going to be moving because this is Elliot's place um, so we're not going to be staying living together. So this will be one of the last few videos that I film here. There'll be like a couple more. I guess you're going to see a new apartment tour in like a month or so as well. But in the meantime, we are carrying on with Christmas, enjoying it. I'm feeling so Christmassy at the moment. Just put up the Christmas tree and it is looking awesome. Decorated it with some sparkly lights and some tasteful ornaments, if we say so ourselves. I feel like the Christmas tree kind of looks like the Christmas tree cupcake that I made in my Christmas food tax video earlier this week. Which one looks better? I don't know. Hard to say. I know which one looks tastier though. I've actually been super prepared this year. I usually leave my Christmas shopping until like the 23rd or the 24th of December, but I just got so carried away with all those Black Friday deals like a few weeks ago. I ended up buying most of my stuff there. I'm just so prepared. I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm actually gonna enjoy Christmas Eve rather than be out running around finding shops that are still open or websites that were still delivered to me in time for Christmas for some extortionate fee. But saying all that, I'm actually going on holiday next week to Madeira with my family. So for the first time in forever, for the first time in forever, I'm gonna be away for Christmas. I'm gonna have Christmas Day on the beach. How weird is that gonna be? Like, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Sipping a cocktail, sunbathing, relaxing in the sun, chilling. That's going to be fun, I'm looking forward to that, rather than just the usual sort of stuffing yourself with food until you can't eat anymore, and then a few hours later you've got a bit of room in your stomach so you eat the leftovers. Yeah, we'll miss that a little bit actually. But yeah, so that's exciting. I'm not going to be filming the holiday as I haven't had a trip that I haven't filmed for quite a long time, so it'll be nice to just have no stresses for a week. I'm looking forward to that. 
That should be good. But don't worry, I'm sure I will still be posting the usual slutty Instagrams by the pool, showing off my tan. At Doug A underscore on Instagram, if you do want to see what I'm getting up to over in Madeira. As we are doing first time in forevers, apparently, in this video, I'm going to give one of you guys a shout out, and I'm going to start doing that regularly. Um, let's call it maybe Dougling of the Week, um, or I also thought maybe Doug Step of the week. Doug Step is a bit more hip and cool. What do you think? Which one sounds better? Let me know in the comments below. But yes, I'm going to be picking one person and today it is going to be... Drum roll. <laughs> Piano with Doug. Awesome edits over on Instagram. A whole Instagram dedicated to me. I feel so grateful that someone would do that. So thank you to you, whoever you are. Piano with Doug. If you want to be Dougling or Doug Step of the week, whatever we're going to call it, you decide, then make sure you follow me over on Twitter and do something to stand out from everyone else. That's all you have to do. Okay, all you fruity people, I need to pack my suitcase for my holiday. You need to follow me on Instagram and tweet me the word fruity if you haven't already done it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Blah, 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 blah. Do your thing. I'll do mine. Have a great holiday and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.